Next one like this. Every satanic arrest. Every satanic arrest of my destiny. Of my destiny. What do you mean by me? Your time is up. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Every satanic arrest of my destiny, of my marriage, of my career, of my relationship, whatever you are passing through, the one who scatter, the one who fall down, die, the one who fall down, die, the one who fall down, die, the one who fall down, die. Of your marriage, of your having a child, say, 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 in the mighty of Jesus, command them to fall down and die, 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 in Jesus' mighty name, they are dead. Amen. 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 Every satanic investment, upon my life, upon my children, we will say, in the name of Jesus, command them to be say, command them to be say, satanic investment upon your time, upon your destiny, upon any area of your life. Command them to be wasted. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Say, 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 say. Say, 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 say. Say, 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 say. Say, command them. Command them. Command them to be wasted. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name they are wasted. Amen. Amen. Oh, son. Moon and stars. Oh, sun. Moon and stars. Fight against every 
stronghold of wickedness in the household. In the name of Jesus, oh sun, oh moon, oh star, fight against every wickedness in my household. Say, say, say. Because the Bible says, and then they fall before the man, it's a member of his household. Therefore, you have to fight against them with the heavens. Fight against them with the heavens. Command the sun, the moon, and the stars to fight against every household of wickedness. Drop your life. Drop your destiny. Drop it in the area of life. Say, 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 say. Command them. Command them to fight against them. You do what you do. I'm not hearing it. Say it out. Loud and clear. It's not a silent prayer. Open your mouth and say it. Stop the law. Stop, stop, stop. Amen. Say, say it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Say it loud and clear. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every cauldron of darkness. I hope you know what's the cauldron. What's the cauldron? Pardon? Cauldron is the cave where the witches and wizards they are by night. That's their, that's their meeting place or the pot where they use to cook good destiny. Therefore, that shall be not that shall not be your lot in Jesus' name. Yeah. Every cauldron of witchcraft cooking as yes. You put whatever you are passing through, what you are expecting for, and it's, de- it's causing a delay. They must call that delay. So you have to command them to be shattered to pieces. Every cauldron of witchcraft, every cauldron of witchcraft, familiar spirit, or public spirit, cooking my fears, receive the light of God, receive the light of God, every cauldron of witchcraft, familiar spirit, or public spirit, or any evil spirit, cooking my fears, receive the light of God, receive the light of God, Scatter, 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 in the name of Jesus. Say, 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 every corner of witchcraft, familiar spirit, a party spirit. Say, 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 cookie your fears. The one in the scatter, 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 the one in the scatter. In the name of Jesus, command them to scatter, command them to scatter. In the name of Jesus, command them to scatter. The spirit of the Lord is inside of us, it's our candle inside of us. They said, When the word of God comes into you and enter in your light in our darkness, therefore, you pray this one like this Oh God, arise, oh God, arise. and enlighten my darkness. No, put it like this. Oh God, arise. Oh God, arise. Light my lamp. Light my lamp. And the light of darkness. Because the darkness overshadows the person. There will be confusion. There will be a, there will, you will not, you will not be able to see. Therefore, you ask God to light your lamp or light your candle and then light your darkness. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise. 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 Light my lamp. Light my lamp. Light my darkness. In the name Oh, God, arise. Light my lamp. I let my lamp. Light my lamp. I let my lamp. Light my lamp. I let my lamp. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Say, 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 say. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus, I say, we pray. So, parts of darkness, they cause damages into people's life. They wounded people's life. They don't sort of atrocities. Now, we want to repair those things now. And we'll stay fast, fast. We'll follow me fast. Go around it. Right now, you say, I command, I command every spiritual contamination, every spiritual contamination in, my life, in my life to receive cleansing by the blood of Jesus. I command, I command every spiritual contamination in my life, in my life, in my life, in my life, in my life to receive cleansing. Receive cleansing. Receive cleansing. Say, 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 receive cleansing. Receive cleansing by the blood of Jesus. Receive cleansing. Receive cleansing. Receive cleansing. Pray. I break every evil act, every evil act, and abomination walking against me and my family. I break, I break, and the blood of Jesus, every evil act, and abomination walking against me and my family. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, oh Lord, heal every wounded part of my life. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord. Heal every wound of my life. 
Lord, I say that we give you praise. from today right now. You remember that uh, if you are a child, even if, let's go back to when we were young, if you need something from your father or your mother, you first of all like sort of mimic them and bring them to where you 
your standard is. We want to give God the glory for He deserves. Tomorrow we are going to be one. It is not by our power, it is not by our mind. The book of Psalm 118, 23 says, This was the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. So we're going to go into the session of praise to give thanks to the Almighty God. For you and I, we join this church and it's going to be a year. You are healthy, you are okay, you are fine, nothing wrong with you. All your prayer has been answered. When you pray, you receive the blessing, you receive the answer to your prayer. Isn't it good for us to thank the Lord for that as we are going to the second year? Because if we go to the second year, Thank you, God, for tell me what you will not receive in the second year. You will receive more than what even what we are expecting. So we are going into the session of worship. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. Thank you, 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 Jesus. Oh, my God. 
anything. This is just, I'll call it prelude. This is just a prelude. Just introduction. On that launching date, that same day we're having the launching of my second book, that same day we're having our first year anniversary, that same day we're doing having our ordination of deacons, deaconess, elders, and evangelists. And on that same day, We've invited people that will be talking drum. You will dance and dance and dance. People that will play bass, bass guitar, lead guitar, saxophone, trump, all kind of instruments will be there. It's going to be race galop. You will enjoy it from 1 p.m. to when, I won't tell you. But that day, prepare to dance. Apart from dancing, there is enough food on that day. Whether you want fried rice or red rice or jollof rice or purple rice, all kind of rice will be available. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's sit down in God's presence. Ah, I love this. I think I would introduce this kind of exercise before someone every Sunday. So that when you dance, by the time you just sit down, uh -huh, you'll be blowing your body. Uh -huh. This kind of exercise doesn't even need them. Um, Eater. You don't need it when this kind of exercise is going on. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I thank God for the life of um, Evangelist Famino. As we were sitting down, she told me the Spirit of God told us to worship Him and praise Him today. Because tomorrow will be the 10th of October 2011. And the way of holiness end time ministry, the Lord told me that our first service should start on the 10th of October 2010, which made the day of the founding of this church 10 10 10. So, if anybody asks you when was the church you are going, you are attending, when was it founded, you just tell them your church was founded on the 10 10 10. Is that easy to remember? Yeah. Say, the Way of Goodness and Time Ministry, my church, is founded on the 10 10 10. And tomorrow will be the 10 10 11 which makes us one year. So if anybody asks you, how many years are we in 13 years to come? You just tell them, three years. In another three years to come, you know it's 2013, you just know that since your church was founded in 2010, easy to subtract. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. This is the doing of the Lord, and it is marvelous in our sight. Let's bow down our heads for prayer. In Jesus' name. God, as we be going into the sharing of your word, I have that your word flow from my book lives on in that by any demonic forces. Let it be all of you and none of me. Let your name be glorified. Let our life be transformed by the reason of this word. In Jesus' marvelous name, I pray. Amen, amen and amen in Jesus' name. Um, once I was praying to God concerning today's message, the Spirit of the Lord told me the topic I should discuss with his people because God is my manager and is my area manager, so I do whatever he instructs me to do. If I don't do it, he has a way of discipline. So, and what he told me to discuss with his own people, you are his people, is the topic, armor of light. The armor of light. I must quickly tell you what an armor is. If you have watched any film of sword men, you know those sword men thing? I'm not talking of James Bond. Sword men thing, you notice that they would have on their head an helmet. That is to protect their heads. Apart from that, there's going to be something like a breastplate. So in case there's an arrow that is launched against them, so that breastplate will protect them from the arrows, from evil darts. Now, Apart from that, they do have what is called shield. That shield is in a circular shape for some people, and some of them they have it just in a triangular shape or in any other different form. The aim of the shield is also to, um, to protect them from sword when they are fighting or otherwise to protect them from arrows. If you've watched anything, a film called 300 Men, 
I saw the actual work of shield in 300 men. How the Spartans, when they held on to their shield, and arrows were being shot against them, but joining their shield together protected them from evil arrows because those shield were combined together. So, in a nutshell, all these things are called armors, and those are physical armors. But I've come to understand and I've come to discover one armor that can protect you from all evils. All these armor that were designed by men, it has a shield for the front, but there's no, sh I mean, it has a breastplate for the front, but there's nothing to defend the back. Every weapon that men have designed, they've not designed the one that could cover their back. And that is why most warriors are falling in the battlefield. Because the only person that can protect their back is someone that always stands in front and back. And that is why the Bible says in Psalm 18 verse 18, that they afflicted me in the day of trouble, but the Lord was my backup. So who you have as your backup determines your success at the battleground. Today I want to discuss the armor of the light. The armor of light. Before I go into the discussion, uh, the Spirit of the Lord says I should tell you this. Because some people might feel, uh, are they talking to me? As a matter of fact, whatever is coming out from this podium is not directed to someone in particular. But God really wants to fine tune our life and show us the right way in order to achieve the purpose of our creation in life. Before I go into the message, Second Timothy chapter 3 verse 16, you don't need to read out really quickly from here. It says, Second Timothy chapter 3 verse 16. All scripture is God breathed and reaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. The word of God that will be coming to you today would be teaching you, it will be rebuking you in some areas, it will be correcting you, and it will be training you to live a righteous life. Do you accept those teaching or not? Is this something that is okay with you? Yes, it must be okay with you because it is the ordinance of God. Now for today, the Spirit of the Lord said I should speak with you from the book of Romans chapter 13 and that is where I'm going. So anything you are hearing from this piece is what God has ordained for your teaching. The book of Romans chapter 13. Romans chapter 13. I read from verse 1. Everyone must submit himself to the governing authorities. For there is no authority except that which God has established. The authorities that exist have been established by God. When we talk about authorities, it is in different areas including the secular and the sacred aspect of our life. Your manager at workplace, you must submit to him. Other senior staff, you must respect them and submit to them. Similarly, anyone that is in this church standing before the congregation, either a minister or someone that is ministering to you, we must respect them. We must respect ourselves in the church of God. Because everyone that is carrying out one assignment or